All right, guys, we're taking advantage of the beautiful weather that's only supposed to last one more day. And I've gone a little bit further and right down on the base, and I'm pretty sure the creek, this hole was kind of flooded when I got to it. I think there's some back seepage from the creek, but uh, I saw the top what looked like a case gin, and I just pulled it out. It's a small, it's one of those small, oh, it's one of those small case gins. Oh, that's sweet. That'll be the third one we've gotten out of here. And it's right down on the base, right on the sand. Would have been one of the first bottles, I guess, thrown down here. Uh, yeah, it, it's not going to get any, <laughs> not going to get any deeper than this. So, uh, hopefully, this one goes back to the 1890s, which is when this hotel went back to. Let's see if we can grab her out. She's mucky in here. Oh boy, I think she's an applied top too. Oh yeah. That was my head on the log. <laughs> oh, look at that, guys. Oh, that is such a cute little tiny one. Oh, I love these. These are sweet. Is it an applied top? Oh yeah, definitely. Oh, it's cool, it's got the lines in, in that side. Oh, that is nice. Oh, it's got some numbers on the bottom. I heard letters J, P, C, B. Oh, that is awesome. That is a beauty little case gin. wonder what color we're going to get out of this one. I have to get the mud out of it, I think, first. Let's get a look at it through the sun. Oh, I can see kind of a, a nice uh, olive amber. So far, we'll have to clean it up and see. Oh man, Neil had just brought over to me a uh, Sloan's liniment. And I said, wow, that's uh, I've never seen Sloan's liniment in amber before, but uh, when I got a good smell of it, whew, it was whatever was in it. And that is crazy stuff. I don't know if Sloan's liniment is oil of camphor, but man, does that smell like coal tar, something fierce, holy. Wow, and I've, uh, I've pumped pure coal tar out of the bottom of a contaminated well, and it's uh, it smells just like that. Well, here's our small one cleaned up, and uh, oh yeah, we got a beauty, beauty of a little case gin, and that is a nice color. Oh, that is awesome. What a beauty. All right, we'll keep going, and... Uh, See what else we can dig up. Oh, Neil's got a real heartbreaker from up in that 40s, 50s area he's working. And we got ourselves an Eldon. Oh, Neil really loves the, the milk bottles, but we never dig them. Or never dig any ACL ones. And we got uh, Eldon Lodge Dairy. I've never heard of this one. Kingston, Ontario. Oh, that is very cool. Serve fresh cream in your coffee. Delicious treat. Well, I guess we'll take that as a... Oh, that actually, this would be a... Well, unfortunately, we got a big fracture at the base. It could have been a good uh, candidate for a, for a glass. But, uh, and it's got another big crack there too. But it's a cool piece anyway. Maybe we'll keep it. Hopefully it doesn't crack anymore on the base. Yeah, serve fresh cream in your coffee. Del a delicious treat. Elden Lodge Dairy. All right, guys, we just, down in the wall, we just pulled out another one of these, except uh, this time we got to turn mold and an applied top, which is better than the machine made. So, and then Neil's just come back with uh, this. He keeps digging more of those Fitch jars, but he also pulled this out. This is embossed. It says it's. Now this thing actually looks like a 20s bottle because it's got the Owens ring on it and we got uh, Wild Root. This bottle is not for, is for professional use only. So uh, Wild Root Limited, Fort Erie. Oh, it does say wild. It just looks like two Ys together. <laughs> sort of a stylized thing. But that's a cool bottle, embossed. I think there was a hair salon uh, 
that's why we're fine because Fitch was a uh, hair care product and this is and he keeps finding those and here's a wild root and that says professional use only so uh, yeah I think that's what we got I think we had a, a hair salon uh, here way back in the day very cool wild root product Oh, guys, Neil's just dying up there. He finally found us. He's digging so much Smash 7-Up bottles that are older ACL. And he just came across this one. But, uh, oh, man. She's got a chunk out of it. And it's actually embossed 7-Up on the base, which is really cool. Oh, that's quite nice. And, uh, yeah, Bubble Girl's there. But she's pretty... She's not doing so well. Well, hopefully he keeps digging, finds a finds a, a good one. All right, guys, we're back at the creek. And the water's still high, but not as high as it was before. It's going down incrementally. Uh, but uh, as you can see, I'm still in my uh, I'm still in my shorts. The water is super warm. We're in the first week. The first week of October is already over, and we're at Thanksgiving weekend. Canadian Thanksgiving weekend and this is just awesome uh, things have cooled down from last day but uh, they're still not too bad actually and I think this water is going to stay warm for the foreseeable future and with the higher flows there's been a little bit more scour in the creek and I was just looking at this one little hole where the where the current is at the, the fastest in this section and I thought it was going to be a graduated med, but uh, check that out. We got ourselves an applied top med. Oh, Neil's just come from uh, from his upper 50s area. The 42. And he just got a, himself a Coke. Cool, and it's an older one that we're used to digging at the uh, dump, at the 50s dump. He's got a 1942, so yeah, we're definitely in a... 30s, 40s, maybe or maybe even 20s, 30s, 40s uh, dump area above the uh, 1890s, early 1900s dump. So yeah, there's stuff of all ages in here. Very cool. But yeah, we got an applied top on this one, and I can see a bit of amethyst on it. So yeah, it's got a little, a uh, couple. I think this is the older version of those graduated meds. I see a, like a 3V1 on it. That I've seen on those other bottles, but uh, this is not graduated. So very cool. All right, I we had a big collapse here uh, since it rained. Uh, now I didn't think there would be anything in and back there, so I'd sort of given up going any further. But uh, I see a bottle. I see a med. I don't know if it's embossed. It's probably slick, but uh, I see a med sticking out right there. I also see part of an insulator, actually. <laughs> uh, everything is in this dump, it seems. I see the, right here. I'll have to pull that out. Let's get the med first. Oh, hopefully it's intact. Oh, I think it is. Oh, cool. Well, that's nice. I think uh, it's got side embossing, nope. But it is, uh, does look like an applied or tool tip. Very cool. Yeah, it's funny, all this clay. I mean, again, this could be a cast off from others digging, but there's a lot of really large stuff that looks like it's been dumped in here a long time ago and all this is sitting on top of this stuff. So I don't really know what to make of it. And I see something down there that looks like it might be intact. So we'll keep on this and yeah, it's really weird that all this clay is in here, though. That's kind of confounding me. All right, I'll clean this up a little bit and get a better look. All right, guys, Neil just got, Neil must be working in a 40s pocket because he got a 41 Coke, which he's really happy. He's trying to get all the different years of those old Cokes. Uh, we're working down in the muck right at the base where I got that case gin, that tiny case gin. And I saw one med, and there was another med there too beside it. I hope I didn't scratch it up, but I think I got a Davis. I've been, I've seen people dig these commonly, and I've never dug one. But uh, finally, yeah, this is a Davis. 
Oh yeah, I could see by the indent in the bottom or in the in the side here. Yeah. And this could be, I don't know. It's at the very bottom, so we're into the gotta be in the oldest stuff. And we got a I believe is a tool tip. Please don't be cracked. Hopefully that's just what is that? Uh Oh, that's, I think that's just guck inside. Oh, there we go. Yeah, painkiller. Vegetable, yeah, Davis vegetable painkiller. Oh, that is sweet, and it's a nice light green. But that's super cool, I finally got a Davis. Actually, maybe we'll live dig and see what else, uh, there was another one in there. Unless that was the one I felt. Oh, no, I feel glass right there. So I got to try and dig around it. So, all right, I'll get back to you. All right, guys, we just pulled that other one out. It was right beside it. It looks like it's going to be a different one this time. I'm hoping. Oh, hopefully it's embossed. Let's see. I don't know. Hopefully she's not cracked or broken. Oh, we got something on it. We got... Oh, we got Toronto, Ontario. Oh, there we go. We got a... Oh, that's kind of cool. Shiloh's Consumption Cure. Oh, that is sweet. SC... Where Wilson. Oh, that's awesome. That I've never dug before or even heard of before. That's so cool. Oh, and this one's corked. Oh, we got a contents. We got a contents. Oh, yeah, that's awesome. I could see some color to that liquid inside. Very cool. Let's get this thing cleaned up. All right, guys, we got our Shiloh's Consumption Cure. And... Got some nasty looking liquid in there. Very cool. We got Toronto, Ontario. SC Wells Co. Or LC. Yeah, SC Wells and Co. Oh, that is super sweet. That is a nice uh looks to be in a plot actually an applied. That's an applied top. That thing could be 1890s, possibly. I mean, we're right up, working right on the bottom, and we cleaned up our other two. Got our Slick Med, which appears to be a tool tip. And I think that would probably turn purple. And uh, the Davis Painkiller. Yeah, finally, after so long. And I believe... It's probably a tool tip though. Davis vegetable painkiller. That is sweet. That's a three meds there we've pulled out now. I think we're into a little bit of a pocket. I thought there was more beside those other two bottles, but it was a, some broken plateware. So we'll keep at it and uh, we don't have too much longer left to go. Sun is set and uh, we're losing daylight. All right, guys, Neil just pulled this liquor from up where he's digging not sure what uh what does it say neil uh, it says vickers gin famous since 1750. oh very cool that would be british wonder what year oh that's got a d in the diamond and an owens ring so i'm saying probably 30s 40s pretty cool yeah, it's got to be post-prohibition era. Probably 30s, 40s, yeah. That's cool. Nice embossed liquor. Mm -hmm. 